Thank you for coming to Ethical. We're very happy to have you. And can I ask very you, happy to come. Yeah, can I ask what you think so far of what you've seen? I think it's great. First, uh, you know, I saw the, the school. Yeah. And I find it fantastic. I mean, uh, great equipment, a great place, a great atmosphere, great spirit. And uh, I know the project, I know what it is about, and I find it uh, just uh, amazing because it's, uh, it's exactly what the world needs. So uh, I think it's great to, uh, to, to create this school in, in South Africa and, and I think for all those who are uh, part of the school, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Uh, you've been with uh, L'Oreal for a very long time, since like in your early 20s. Yeah. And uh, you've experienced a lot and a lot of us here are very young and have very huge ambitions and dreams and we'd love to get to a point where we can say we need it, maybe in your position one day. Uh, the problem with that is that we usually just think of the start, the dreams we have, we'd love to get there, but we never think of the in-between parts of it. Can you shed some light on what we actually need to look at? Uh, you know, when you start, you, you yeah. never know how far you will go. Uh, yeah. So I think that uh, what, what's, what's very important is when you, when you start to have enthusiasm and uh, ambition and, uh, and joy and, uh, and energy and, uh, and to, to take every step uh, one at a time. And, uh, and for example, you know, I never th thought, I never believed that I, I would uh, become uh, chairman and CEO of the company, but every job that I had, every challenge, because it was tonight about challenge and opportunities, every challenge I took it as, a, as something exciting, uh, uh, something uh, where I could really uh, give my strength. And, uh, and when, was one, when one was finished, I just took the next one. And so I think that uh, what, you, what you just, my advice would be to, uh, you know, life is a great adventure, it's a great journey, and the uh, professional life is the same. So take, make each step at a time. Yeah. Uh, on your journey to where you are right now, you've come across a lot of crises, most of them financial, and you've led your company through wars and even. How has that actually changed the way you behave? Because I'm sure that uh, had an effect on on, your, on on you as a person. Yeah, I think you're right. It's a good question. I think it makes me more uh, uh, more uh, comfortable. I would say mm -hmm. I, I'm less. You know, I've I've lived through so many challenges, and and uh, and because as as we discussed tonight, uh, at the end of the day, a challenge is also an opportunity. You know. Um, uh, uh, when I when I see difficulties or, or when I face with uh, with uh, uh, possible difficulties, I'm, I'm much more relaxed uh, and quiet and confident that uh, I used to be at the beginning. When I was, you know, uh, much younger, uh, uh, I look at every crisis as a as a big uh, a big difficulty. And now I take them more as a, as an as an opportunity to uh, to uh, to overcome them. You have a family, of course, and how does that affect your leadership style? I'm sure that uh, you'd love to project an image to your children on how they should live their lives also. I don't know, I don't know, because you know, I never try to, uh, too much to project an image, I think. I, I, I was, but I was very, uh, I tried to find a, a good balance. Uh, on one side, I, I've always been very uh, dedicated to my job. But at the same time, I made also no compromise with my family life. Uh, for example, uh, when my kids were younger, uh, I took them to school every morning. Uh, I came back from, from work every evening at 7 o'clock. I had dinner with them. And if I had not finished my, my day, you know, I would work after dinner uh, when they were uh, in bed. So, and we took many vacations, we visited the world. So, for me, it was more like uh, two things in parallel that, and both have to be, uh, have to be successful, have to be well done. Uh, because if you sacrifice one for the other, I think that you, you regret it afterwards. Uh, yeah, your CEO of L'Oreal, which yeah. is like a cosmetic company, and L'Oreal is one of the sponsors of With and Code, which is a tech uh, school. How does that come about? What can a tech student do at L'Oreal? Well, it's very important because you know, uh, digital and, uh, and 
tech is, is really uh, uh, at the core of, uh, of what we do in terms, for example, of communication, relationship with consumers. The, the, whole, the, the whole world has changed. The relationship that we are creating now with consumers is based on these new technologies. Uh, and, uh, and for example, in the past uh, three or four years, as I explained tonight, we recruited more than 1,000 uh, digital uh, people, digital experts, digital talents, because they, they are, for us, like for many other companies, uh, absolutely quintessential in the in the success of the business. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it and and they are completely embedded in the in the way we work. You know, it's not a digital team that is uh, beside the uh, the old team or the classical team. It's a, it's a digital talents that, that mix, that blend with the marketing teams, with the communication teams, with the commerce team and that, uh, that reinvent the way we work. Yeah. Do you have any final words maybe you can give uh, to within course students, anything that we might have missed <laughs> during our talk? Uh, you know, I think that we had a nice, uh, nice discussion. Uh, I think uh, thanks for the for the very good question. And, uh, and as I said, you know, it's uh, I think that the, the the theme was well chosen too, because uh, challenge uh, opportunity uh, is important. Uh, the two go together. I think what I said about persistence is very important too, uh, because uh, it's it's also the secret of um, the success and. Uh, and the development of, of what you are and what you do. And uh, as I said also, the most important also is never forget that uh, success is not everything. And it's all about also trying all of us to contribute to make uh, the world a better world. And especially for you, because you're, you're young, you're, you have the future in your hands. So you're gonna have a great job. Digital will be at the core of the new world, but don't forget it's not only about tech, it's also about making the world a better place. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Agron, for your business. And Thank we you very hope much. that we can have you another time. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.